So as you can see, we're going into the 12 towers today, so we're changing it all. Right, so as you can see, we are in the 12 towers. So on the Griffin IPA, £2.55, how does it taste? I mean, it's quite crisp and it's quite a floral IPA. It's because it's very nice. I recommend it. I think that's a solid 7.2 out of 10. I certainly prefer the 12 Tellers to Grey Fries. That's my personal opinion. So if you're an away fan or Preston fan, go to the 12 Tellers over the Grey Fries. That is my opinion. So as you can see, we're returning to the Guild Ale House. So we are here in the Preston Guild Ale House. So we're on the Sheppard, so £3.75.5%. I don't think you can complain of those prices, especially under four quid for a pint of cider. So how does it taste the Sheppies? I'm more of a cider man, or especially stout, but that you cannot go too wrong. So I think that's a solid 7.5 out of 10, and just more of a dry sparkling cider. So this is the Guild Ale House, and I certainly recommend it for any away fans or press fans that do uh, go to Deepdale. Alright, so for our next visit, we are going to the market. So we'll go to the orchard here, because they've not been in in a good few months. So let's see what the orchard has to offer today. So here we go, in the orchard. Do, 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 do. Right, so we're in the orchard, we're on the Munchin' as Hell, which is a Paul Laner. So it's 4.9% and it's cost £4.50. So again, we've not broke the £5 rule yet. If there's one thing I love about Preston, up north is like the pints. So like if you can go to the right places, you can get them under four quid or under a fiver. So how is the Paul Laner? Munching as hell. Not much of a lager lover, but for beer, I just love the German beer. I think it's fantastic, and I certainly rate it very high. I certainly rate it 7.9 out of 10. So with the Paul Lane, it's 4.9% as well, so it's not overpowering. Well, that is the munch as hell. So we'll see you in the next stop, see where we go to next. We say, but one thing I will say, we're pressing it. Very, very underrated. As I say, I say, a lot of drinking places, and if you ever do it as a way day, it's fantastic. But well, even as a Preston fan, I cannot recommend pressing high enough, especially as a day out. Right, so on to the final pub of today, which is the Black Horse. So let's go. So there is the Black Horse. So this is a new one for the channel. We've never, ever been in the Black Horse before. But we'll see what the beer is like in the Black Horse before descending on Deepdale. So when the black horse, you've got three entrances to go out of here. One, two, and then there's another one on the other one. There's the second entrance. And now we'll show you the third entrance. So the black horse, let's go inside. I think the thing I love about the Black Horse is the architecture here. It says a nice old fashioned pub. So we're pub number four, so the Black Horse. So this is new beer, just GC Football Channel. So if you're new around here, we're all the 50 subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers on this channel. But any help towards that is much appreciated. So I hope you enjoyed the content, I hope you enjoyed the beer. Especially if you like going around the city as well, or new towns of where to drink and discover new towns and places and new places to, uh, to discover, really. It's going to say places of interest. I've just seen that the surf side at Seaside, I've never ever had that before. But, uh, but we're back on there, we're back on the IPA here. So just to let you know, we're on the salamander here, so I think it's called the Golden Salamander. So it's an IPA and I'm not too sure how much it costs. I think it's cost under about 4 50 maybe a little bit cheaper, but again it's under £5, you can't complain at all. So I'd probably rate this as well, it's solid 7.3 out of 10.
Yeah. Yeah. Nice ones because they're insulation, but I wish I was on cider. So with the golden salamander, it's 4.5%, so it's quite strong, but it's not overpowering. And I think it's silly all the with the type of paler that I like. It's something quite dry, quite floral, and certainly quite crisp. So that is the golden salamander. This is what I call a new one for Just Juicy Football Territory. So I will see you guys at the go. Come on, Preston, let's do this. So we're about five minutes away from Dido, so I will give a score prediction right now. I still think it'll be nil-nil. I don't see both teams scoring today. Because um, if they're not to miss Hana, but hopefully nothing will uh, win today. Because uh, apparently the country have not won a Dido in a very, very long time, if ever. But I need to get back to you on that, see if that, see if that start is right. As uh, I don't believe it, that they've never won a Dido. We've certainly not lost to them in the last 19 games, whether it's at the Rico Arena or at Deepdale. It's, it goes back a long way, certainly prior towards the year 2000. I know with any commentary fan, they hate coming to Deepdale, whether it's pressing play in the Rico Arena or Deepdale as well, massive, massive bogey. And hopefully that will continue today. As I've seen this, <laughs> I've seen the stats, I've seen the facts, and hopefully that will not jinx us today. It's pressing really, really need to win. It's country sitting 20th in the championship with only three wins all season and pressing not won a game in seven. But hopefully we'll continue our good form against country like we normally do. Hopefully get a winner from somewhere. But with our next two fixtures against country and Blackburn away, there's huge pressure on Ryan Lowe, especially if we lose both. As hopefully it won't come to that, as hopefully nothing we'll get the win. Get towards that magical 25 points, halfway towards safety as well as look towards that. It's about a huge game against country and then black men away before all that precious, precious international break. Because we're not won since the middle of September against Birmingham at home. So it's been a long six, seven weeks without pressing up winning the game. But hopefully today, by the day, that changes. Coming off and let's do this. What's going on this channel? Why are we 15 minutes early? We're normally here about one minute before kickoff, but here we are, 15 minutes prior to kickoff. We're not normally this early, especially on the home game. <laughs> but anyway, this is Preston North End taking on Coventry. Let's see how Preston react today. I've still yet to look at the Preston lineup. So I will see you guys inside Deepdale. Let's do this. So here is your Preston North End lineup. So woman in there, Whiteman, Lindsay, Brown, Frogshire, that's surprising, Story, Miller, Holmes, Osmovich, Best and Potts, I love that lineup, absolutely love it. But it's nice and positive from Ryan Lowe. Now, that, my friends, pressing fans, that is more like it. But I love that lineup, and hopefully, we'll go country right from the start, get in the face, press him, and hopefully, we'll try and get a two goal advantage before we'll sit back. But come on, let's do this, pressing nothing. If you're new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Just GC Football. Let's do this. But say today's video guys is sponsored by Scratch Off Maps as I will leave the link to the description below as I'll let the promo roll right now. This video is brought to you by Scratch Off Maps. Thank you very much to them for sponsoring this video. It is a brilliant map with lots of availability online that you can go and check out. So the link is in the description. They've got numerous amount of maps, including if you're wanting to follow English football, you're wanting to follow and do as many grounds in the 92. You've got maps based for the NFL over in the United States. You've got Scottish maps as well. You've got European maps, German maps for you to go and check out so lots of variety and lots of good options a little bit about the map the map very easy to scratch off uh, it's very accessible you can literally just pin it up and put it literally anywhere in your room i've even put mine on the door i also really like the fano meter that's available on the map uh, where you can see how many grounds you visited and see what kind of football fan you are. I've currently done 43 of the grounds available on the map. A seasoned traveller and I've got my eye set this season on getting to serious respect section. Don't forget you can go and check out the map. The link is in the description. Remember if you use code JSGC10 on checkout you'll get 10% off your order. Links and details they're in the description. Well back home let's do this. Gotta give credit to that, especially to the country fans. We're gonna train for 5,000 fans. 
Anthony Charles' own points. Drop those cattle and march them down beside the rivers going to flow. In the same place, Ten, Dyke Cornell. Five, Patrick. <laughs> So not a lot to show about in here at Deep Dells because they're very cagey start, so corner still off end. So Brown has a shot and the keeper nearly fumbles into his own net here. So corner turn off end it nearly comical. That could have gone absolutely anywhere. As the keeper would have been really disappointed and but the corner would be disappointed with that. So close. So 25 minutes in a deep dive, still nil now, not really missing much, not uh, many clear cut chances at all. Well, the centre from North End there. But not many clear cut chances from Preston North End or Coventry here. I wish Preston North End a bit, a bit more positive, though. especially if that was two strikers like that. As he looks a little bit isolated, Millicent does. But trouble with loads formation, especially when you play one up front, it can be easily be a very negative 3 6 and 1 like that. Or three five one one. And that's what it comes across as. That's be offside, surely. And let's see that replay, but here one 0 Coventry. But let's see that replay. Better than that, that'd be all. Special pressure plays. So it's good to see pressing players are not amused at all. But unbelievable, easy as that, because it's straight in. It will probably be offside, but easy as tap is what you'll have all season. Country leading D-Dell 1-0. It's one thing that sums up as country fans singing towards us. We're winning away, how shit must you be? Especially with this country at home. It's like a team that we've not lost to in a very, very long time, especially at Deep Dale. Just like that, 1 1 at Deep Dale. So I'm going to love finishing the ball, you're like, we're going to the equalizer, 1 1 at Deep Dale. Come on. <laughs> And just like that, it is that one one here, dude. Now, more like it from nothing. Come on. Very close to two one off, and that is more like it. He's giving up. Why not just wrap it up? Come on, let's do this. A chance to take the lead, Adina. Come on, you won. Let's do this. I can't believe he's giving it. I cannot believe it. Well, that's in that replay, but it's a little bit hard. But I'll see that back on the replay. But say, it's going to say country fans have been more than play, especially the Preston fans in the Vince Fulton town and the Sir Tom Finney see what they're being saying. It's that part to North End, but I'm not complaining at all. I'm trying to say a leader deep down.
Oh, coach, you can't do much tell. Really hard to buy. I did not see this coming in a million, a million miles off, but who cares? But we're actually winning the game. Coming up and we're winning at home. I think we're winning at home. I feel pretty fans. I feel pretty fans say that loud. I'll show you more true, babe. We're actually winning at home. We're actually winning the game. <laughs> I didn't see this coming at all. That's your impression taking away part of time. Just come out of nowhere and country fans must absolutely hate the curse of Deepdale. But I won't jinx it, I won't speak too soon, but here pressing off into Country City One. I don't know what to say. So pretty much added on here in the first half. <laughs> I mean, who saw that coming? Pressing off and actually laid it off time. Gave me very few chances, but not then laid it 2-1. I can't complain. Hopefully, we'll come be on the front one in the second half. Because I just need to continue pressing it like that. And if we get a third goal, I make a favourite to go on to win this very comfortably. The second half begins. Approaching now on market. Not what to tell you about the second half, but gave me very few chances here. But well, Northwest still leading 2 1, and we look quite comfortable at the minute. So we'll see what country brings to the table in the last half an hour, and where Prost and North End can actually up the tempo and take the game to Coventry. One thing I will say, with the kicking in, really needs to prove it. So we're just tossing away possession to Coventry. Because they've been very poor over the last five minutes. Just Coventry building a head of steam here. So Mads Rockshire going off and it's Chad Evans on. So we're actually going to 3 5 2 now. I'm not too sure some of that idea. I still like to see Mads go behind the strikers. <laughs> Two minutes to go, three one pressing north end. It is that man Miller to a class and pressing north end in cruise control. Let's see if we can hang on it or even take the game to country. So we can get a fourth goal here at Deep Day. And if we could get one more goal, we'll even know we take Southampton on goal difference to go fourth in the championship. So less than ten minutes to go here at Deep Dale. So pressing north end three country city one, corner to north end. Come on. Just, just shoot! Anyway, oh. That's a cough counter. Game okay, ID there, just like that, another rebound. It's got to start keeping hold of it like that or pad it out to the different angles. I just like that, game on it deep down. Press the North End 3, Country 2. In my opinion, both Country goals are really poor goalkeeper. You've got to be panning them out to the wide. Pan them out wide, not straight back at the Country C attackers. So six men add it deep down here. So corner to North End. Two minutes of stoppage time here at Dida. Keep pressing off and hang on. Last shot of the game to come through. Come on! 
Malta. Fun fact for the Stato's that it's pressing North End's 2000th victory, our league victory, 2000 league victories in our history as that has been achieved today against Coventry. Preston North End beat Coventry by three goals to two. Coventry North End as we're back in the playoffs. Well, that was a much needed win for North End. It stops the rut as they finally get our first win in eight games. So, so we're back into playoff places as we are now six in the league. It was a pretty game because I did begin to five goal thrill, but here we are. I've been pressing just about edge there. I think we had a little bit more of the better chances as we have less possession, less shots. But I think with the clear cut chances and the better chances, it pressed enough and that's what we delivered on. But as boy, it was a much needed win. Coventry fans, you must absolutely despise coming to Deepdale every year as we still never lost to Coventry at Deepdale in the league as it's an incredible start and talk of a. <laughs> And if there ever was a bogey team to any team, it is Preston North End to Coventry. So we've now not lost to them in 20 of our last meetings, home and away. So Coventry fans, I do apologise. Because I, I think Preston just about edged it, it's say, but it wasn't a five goal for a lot. It's say, for both goals, the Coventry ones, I think Preston North End could have done better. I think Coventry could have probably maybe say the same. But I think Preston, some uh, great creativity, especially for the third goal. It's say, it's a great cross into Milton as well with the header. But I'm a very happy North End here. And we will now go on to Derby Day against Blackburn. So I will see you guys at Ewell Park. But don't forget to like and subscribe to Just GC Football for more football content, more PNE content. And I will see you guys at Ewell Park. Have a fabulous weekend, everyone.